Hello everyone. Light and darkness are a part of creation. The universe has light and darkness. We have the light and darkness within ourselves. There is a story churning of the ocean. You should perhaps read the story or Google it up. There is a strong message in this story. It is commonly believed that both the ocean and the unconscious are vast reservoirs of unknown wealth. Dr. Carl Gustav Jung once wrote, the sea is the favorite symbol for the unconscious, the mother of all that lives. The ocean as a source of wealth, known and unknown, is a message that is strongly ingrained in the cultural memory. We look at how the mythological churning of the ocean is an invitation to reflect on the vastness of the ocean, its unlimited potential, its beauty, and the possibility of its existence within us as an untapped unconsciousness. The year 2023 is all about churning the ocean of your unconsciousness so that you could bring out your talents to its full potential and live the life of your dreams through your own efforts. Become the person you want to be. Having understood what I mean for, of churning the ocean and how looking deep into your consciousness can actually bring out the best in you. So what do I have for you, Aries, in 2023? Well, the major trends are it's an action-packed and a prosperous year, both for you and the world at large. The cosmic chessboard is being rearranged as three long-term planets change signs in 2023, which is a rare phenomenon. Pluto will move temporarily out of your 10th house of career into your 11th house. He will drift to and fro between the two houses this year and the next. So on March 8th, 2023, Saturn, your career planet, will leave Aquarius where he's been for over two years and will move into Pisces. Jupiter, which is now in your own sign, will move into your money house on May 17th. Jupiter in your sign until May 17th implies good life and travel. It helps in expansion of your willpower in obtaining whatever you aspire for. Saturn's move into your spiritual 12th house on March 8th helps you make adjustments or changes in your career. An important career shift is on the horizon. So we, you'll be thinking more holistically about what you expect from your career. Your career and your work will be important to you as long as it helps the world become better. Your actions will help you become the person you want to be. So from January 1st to May 4th, Mars, the ruler of your horoscope and a very important planet for you will be out of bounds for a very long time this year. This implies that personally, you may do things which could be outside your normal scheme of things. You may learn, learn something new. With all the long-term planets in the eastern sector of self, 2023 is a me-oriented year. Of course, the short-term planets will energize the western social sector later on in the year, but the social sector will never dominate. You should be more focused on whatever takes up your passion or interest. From March 24th to June 12th, Pluto's move into your 11th house is merely a foretaste of things to come. This transit impacts on friendships, although not necessarily on romance. Friendships were tested over the past two years also, but soon they will get a serious long-term testing, 20 to 25 years. The whole so uh, social circle will completely change. The dynamics will completely change in the coming years. You probably would select a few, a handful of them, which will last for you a lifetime. In regards to your health, it's a good year. The long-term planets are either making harmonious aspects or are leaving you alone. Sometimes in the year, the short-term planets can cause some stress and your health and energy could be less than usual at these times, but these are temporary glitches, not trends for the year. Good though your health is, you can make it better. Give more attention to your diet and exercise regime. 
So until May 17th, Jupiter will be in your sign. While this is a happy transit in general, it does have some caveats. Your weight will need to be watched. Remember, Jupiter bestows expansion on whatever you focus on. This is the natural consequence of living the good life. Women of childbearing age are also extremely fertile during this period, and pregnancy would not be a surprise. Mercury is a fast-moving planet, so there are many short-term trends in health that depends on where Mercury is at any given time and the kind of aspects he receives. These are best covered in the monthly reports, but it will be in retrograde motion more than usual this year. Generally, he retrogrades three times a year, but in 2023, it'll be four. Where your home and family is concerned, this year, your fourth house of home and family is not prominent. It's not a house of power. So the situations at home remain status quo. There is no need to make dramatic changes. This will change in a few years time, though, but for now, this is the way that it is. A parent or parent figure in your life becomes more spiritual this year and seems involved in your spiritual life. It's likely that the karmic relationships between you and this person will become more profound. Just ensure that you or the parent don't resort to alcohol or drugs because this also comes from spiritual urges, a desire to transcend this world. Your family planet is the moon, so watch out for your mood swings during discussions with loved ones, you can at times send mixed signals. Though moon phenomena are short-lived, eight times in any given month, she will re-stimulate eclipse points, causing emotional disturbances or shake-ups at home. Eight times at any in any given month, she will make stressful aspects to the long-term planets, that is the Saturn and Uranus. This also causes upheavals and high passions. Everyone around will also be affected by these trends. You should endeavor to fix yourself instead of trying to fix others or correcting others. In regards to your finance and career, well, as I mentioned earlier, the year ahead is a prosperous year for you, Aries. Jupiter in your sign not only brings money per se, but it brings an elevated lifestyle. You live as if you were rich. The cosmos supplies for this. More importantly, Jupiter will move into your money house on May 17th, and you will feel prosperous and lucky in a very tangible way. Assets you own will increase in value. Happy financial opportunities can come, perhaps from foreign lands or through foreigners. Your focus at work will help increase in your earnings. Uranus has been in your money house for many years now. This transit has brought much experimentation to the financial life as well, as well as excitement and surprises. You did experience a volatility here, sometimes high and sometimes low. But now with Jupiter traveling near Uranus, the transit will help you in your concentration for work. Automatically your focus helps in high earnings. So Uranus in your money house favors technology, the online world, and companies that are involved with new inventions and innovations. It favors startups. If you're an investor, these are good companies to look at, although always do your due diligence before investing. But even if you're not an investor, online activities and your technology skills are important in your finance, regardless of what you actually do. Jupiter's position in your money house favors foreign companies, the travel business airlines, and education. Business-related travel is also likely, so you could mix business with pleasure. Fast-moving Venus, your financial planet, will make one of her rare retrogrades once every two years in the year ahead, from July 23rd to September 3rd. This will be a time to avoid major purchases, investments, or other important financial decisions. Instead, it will be a time to achieve clarity about your finances and to resolve doubts. A solar eclipse on April 20th occurs right at the cusp, the border of your first and second house, and is thus an influence in both the houses. So this will bring changes to your financial thinking 
and your planning. Your 10th house of career remains very strong, though Pluto will move in and out of this house in the coming year. The past 20 plus years have completely transformed your career and sense of mission. You should be in your ideal career path and life now. More importantly, your career planet, Saturn, changes signs this year. He moves into Pisces, your 12th house of spirituality, on March 8th and will stay there for the next two and a half years. So as I spoke earlier, your career may be laced with a holistic approach for the betterment of the world at large. Adopting the policy of never explaining or complaining will help boost your own positivity. So the love and social life. Your seventh house is not a house of power. It will get a bit stronger later in the year, but only for short periods. So those of you who are married will tend to stay married and singles will tend to stay single. The year ahead is about getting your body image and personal interests and goals in right order. The focus is on you yourself. Though marriage is not likely for singles, there will be love affairs as Venus, your love planet, spends an unusual amount of time in Leo, your fifth house of fun and creativity. So normally Venus spends approximately a month in any given sign or house. This year, she will spend a bit more than four months in Leo. So this indicates some love affairs happening, but such affairs are not likely to lead to marriage. They are more about entertainment, fun and games. And there's nothing wrong with that. Venus being a fast moving planet means that there are many short term trends in love that depend on where she is and the kind of aspects she receives. Uh, she receives. Now, whatever dates I have spoken about, if you can just make a short note in your diaries accordingly, it'll help you plan your 2023 much better. In regards to the self-improvement, spirituality has been important for Aries for many years. Neptune, your spiritual planet, has been in your 12th house of spirituality and will be there for many more years to come. Last year, Jupiter moved through your 12th house, expanding and emphasizing spirituality even more. You had many spiritual breakthroughs last year. And by spirituality, I actually means when you listen to the voice of your heart which is actually the path to your soul. So you had many spiritual breakthroughs last year. So this year we expect a new structure as the discipline, as the disciplinarian Saturn will occupy the 12th house from March 8th onwards. Now it's time to pull in the horns a bit, time to focus on the essence of your own spiritual practice, your values, and let go of trivialities. No more indulgence in spiritual shopping. Saturn in your 12th house signals a need for steady disciplined practice. Choose a path and follow it in a disciplined way. Saturn in your 12th house favors the traditional mystical paths, the ones that have stood the test of time. There is also another way to read Saturn's transit, your spiritual practice or your values that you're forming, your growth is your actual career, your personal inner growth your actual mission this year and for the next few years to come. So your social circle is being transformed. The cosmos is giving birth to the social life of your dreams, your ideal of friendships. This won't happen overnight, but over the periods or over the years as a process. Happy new beginnings, which may seem painful initially, but very rewarding as time goes by. It's like the birth of the child. It could be painful, but the moment you see the result, your child, you forget the pains and you know that life has changed for the better. So enjoy the process and stay blessed. While you're going to have a great 2023, I would like to say in the end that many of us remain unaware of our true potentials and strength within. My studies show that astrology can greatly influence and even validate a person's self-concept as well as increase their certainty about their personal attributes. In short, the ruminative nature of astrology encourages self-reflection, enabling individuals to understand themselves and the environment more clearly. Every human being has the power to change his destiny, 
by changing his karma. Only we can create the future that we want. One has no power to control the karma, but has all the power to change the karma. Shape your destiny and be a master of your life through your natal chart and progressive charts. It's important to say, stop living predictions and learn how to create your own prophecies by strengthening your inner core. Connect with me at www.dollymangat.com. Stay blessed.